Chicago Tribune. As much as uh, everyone understands how special it is for you to come home and play for the Bulls, how much of it was that drawing you home and how much of it was the perceived sort of rift with Pat Riley? And had he handled things differently, would you be here today? Um, I have no rift for Pat Riley. It's funny that reports come out um, about a lot of different things. Um, I've never seen nobody around me and Pat in the office with me. I'm just been talking. I didn't see no one CC'd on the emails that we go that we talk about. Um, I have no riff. I have nothing but uh, respect uh, for what he's done in this game. I have so much to learn, um, so I have no riff. You know, in that. You know, for me as a player, uh, when you get opportunities to be a free agent, um, you have to sit and and put your. You have to look and see what is the best situation for you. And 2010. The best situation for me was to play with Chris and LeBron because I wanted to be able to compete for championships. That was what I felt was best. Um, the other two opt-out opt seasons, um, last year, I wanted more money. <laughs> just, just to be real, <laughs> I got more money. This year, um, the direction and the focus for that organization in Miami, which I have nothing but respect for and love for, um, was a little different than it has been in years past. And with that being said, my direction and my focus was a little different than it's been in years past. And um, I communicated with them, you know, that, hey, I've, I've only done this once, but I'm going to be a free agent. I'm going to go out and I'm going to see, um, you know, what the market is saying about me. And like I said, this opportunity with Chicago, when I first, you know, said I was going to be a free agent, it wasn't nothing that we all knew was going to happen. Um, but it was things that happened along the way that made this even realer and realer. And at the end of the day, I made the decision. You know, I had a contract offer in Miami that I could have took. I decided not to take it. Um, it was my decision to, to be selfish and to live out a dream of mine. You know, I brought a lot of excitement to Miami, and it's a home to me. It will always be. Uh, I want to bring a little bit here to Chicago while I have a little bit left. And um, I still have a, a little bit left, by the way. I've, <laughs> I've uh, listened to all you guys talk over the last couple of weeks, so I know what y'all been saying. Um, but, you know, I wanted to, to come here and, and be a part of, of building this organization back up to, you know, where, I, where this organization should go and should be. And this is the first step in that direction. So... You know, let's clear up the notion that Pat Riley orchestrated me getting out of Miami because he didn't offer me the money I wanted. This was not a money deal for me. If it was a money deal, I wouldn't be sitting here. I would have took the most money that was offered for me. At the end of the day, this is a place that I wanted to be. Um, you know, Miami and Chicago has always been, you know, the two cities that I've called home. I was in my, Milwaukee for a brief second. And I got an opportunity, like I said, to be selfish. And... I took it, and my family coming along with me <laughs> along the way. So this was a decision solely for me, and it has nothing to do with Pat Riley. It has nothing to do with Mickey Harrison, Nick Harrison, and the family. Um, they wanted me back in Miami. I considered it, but at the end of the day, I went where I wanted to be. I went where my heart was telling me to go, and it was back home.